Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda from Crafty Fit. I don't know why that is stuck on that layout. It should not be stuck on that layout. Now I gotta figure out which one it goes on and I think I found it. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what this week has brought us. Uh, we have a few layouts that I have um, a process videos for. So um, these you've already seen. I'm just going to go through them really quickly and then we will talk about uh, the challenge and how it's going and um, just if you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I know I am enjoy I am enjoying making the content for this video for the videos and having just a lot of fun just working on my stash. Um, I will be having a haul video go up today because um, I did a little bit of shopping throughout the last week at Hobby Lobby and it was my birthday shopping and I told myself, I think I said this in last Friday's video, that I am not going to be shopping anymore after today for the rest of the summer. It's only going to be um, necessities. <laughs> That's it. Like glue and um, cardstock paper if I need any white cardstock. No stickers. No anything like that. So um, anyways, <laughs> that is my plan. That'll be up today. It is going to be a lot just because I have been accumulating over the past week. Um, going to Hobby Lobby to check out their clearance and a lot of people have been taking advantage of it and it's super um super inexpensive to get like a pad of paper I've actually like um stacked up my paper pads because of that sale and be because I actually have went through all my papers and um, kind of like reorganize them and everything like that. So that has been what I have been doing. Um, and so this week you saw this today, I believe there's a process video for this. Um, and I really, really like this one. I like how it uses the punch and just kind of makes it look like it's on an ice cream truck on the beach. So love that one i got a lot of product used on that one and this one right here is using the bonus dias com uh, collection um i believe this was probably yesterday's i want to say yeah um and i did add a few things that i didn't add in the video i use these stickers that i have like a whole bunch of them and they're just kind of like sitting on my desk so I have them there in case like I see a, a layout that really needs something a little extra and in those colors. So that's really fun. I really like this one. I really like using all the stuff and just having fun with my, my products. And this one right here is probably one of my favorites. So this one was, I think it was uh, three days ago and oh my gosh, I just, love it. It is, I love everything about this. I love having the pink and just all the fun things. So I have that. And then this one right here was the first one to kick off. And I believe I had to like glue down some of these things. So, um, super fun, super cute. Love that I got to use the patio party collection and got some of that paper used up. So those were the layouts you guys saw this week. Um, I will be having more going out. Like I said, we're going to continue doing this. It's a lot of fun. If you want to join in on the fun, it's just, you know, kind of just having fun and playing with your stuff and uh, shopping your stash. So um, super excited. I think I have, oh, I was like, maybe I lost one of those. I don't know. So plans for next week are going to be to, um, of course, put up more videos, but I am going to be um, putting some journaling on some of these layouts. So 
I've been trying to do that when I'm making the layouts just because it's easier for me, but sometimes you just, you want to make, you want to make layouts. You really don't want to sit there and write and stuff like that. So I'm going to be putting some of those in albums and getting those taken care of. And what else? Sorry guys, I'm walking away as I'm sitting there talking. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I have been putting some of my scraps to like use. So I've been using them in my page kits as you guys have been seeing. And I have a whole lot of page kits. So um, I am pulling from all the page kits that I have made up in the past and really just um, whether I want to play with new, new paper, new product. Um, and yeah, so that is it. I do have a question for you guys because I have recently started kind of looking at my ephemera and, and seeing how I can kind of reorganize the collections once they've been used. Um, because, well, so let me grab something really quick. So I have some of these, I have some of these like in baggies. I have them like all over the place. I have them in the little iris containers by color, which is a lot of fun, but I just, I have been kind of rethinking how I want to do this and keep these in the, like keep them together as a kit first and then separating them. So I don't know. Let me know what you, you guys do. Some of these are like really huge um, die cuts and some of them are pretty dainty. So it's like, I really don't know what I want to do for them. Like this all is this I think I'm gonna keep how it is because it is like an embellishment pack kind of I know Janet from RTS talks about this so they're all from basically like the same collection just like cut up and put in here so I was thinking about doing that but I know sometimes I don't gravitate towards them as fast so um let me know down below what you guys do for your big ephemera like this, your small ephemera. Um, I have them all different ways, but I was thinking about trying it like my, um, I think Janet from RTS does this too. She does her ephemera in all kinds of ways as well. Um, but she also uses her system with using the books. So uh, it's kind of like my stickers. So let me grab my stickers. When I talk about my stickers, or I talk about, like, let's just say this is from, this is actually from a layout I just did. Um, you guys will be seeing this soon this month. Um, and it's just one of those stickers that are left over. So I don't really want to put this back on anything. So I put it in my sticker book. And I have them by color. And so if one is, like, left over, there's, like, two left over on a little sticker sheet. Um, I put it on here. So that way I use them in the future. And so I really do have to think about like pulling this out sometimes too, because sometimes I'll just go right to my new stickers and I won't go into here and see. So this is how I have them kind of just reorganized and sometimes or organized by color. And sometimes when I am working on a layout, um, let's just say, for instance, I will pull one that we did this week. So this one right here we did this week. And in the video, you guys won't see these little flowers. I actually just like sat down one night and I went through my sticker book and used the stickers and put them on here. So like I went here and looked at this layout and said, what could I put on it? That would bring it out a little bit more. So I added those little triangle stick stickers. I added those flower stickers. So I went to the colors. Like I went to, you know, 
um, yellow and pink and blue and green and just kind of saw what I could add. And this comes in handy when you have something like that because it's a little bit like easy to flip through and kind of catalog um, your stickers. So that is what I like to do sometimes when I'm just not in the most crafty spirit. I will add stickers like that to some layouts that I haven't yet put away. Um, and that just needs like a little bit more of a touch, but I don't know what I want to do with these. I have a bin of them and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do and how they're going to be organized. So let me know down below what you guys do, because I think, you know, we can all learn from each other and, uh, sometimes, you know, you just need a new idea or a new way of trying things. So I'm still going to keep the iris containers that I did a couple months ago. However, I think with my new collections, I'm either going to keep them in baggies or I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence, but I need to do something about that. So, and also I have another question for you guys. How do you guys store your stickers in packets? Um, because I have mine, let me show you. I have mine like this. Let me know and this is also for like embellishments too i have mine like this and they're just really inexpensive binder rings you can find them from the dollar store and i have like you know stickers galore in here and um i have them in a bin and just kind of you guys have seen me work through them when i was de-stashing um but sometimes they get a little bit like, uh, should I say like bent or, um, I guess bent is what I'm saying is so they get a little bit bent and then they start to like either come off the packaging or what have you. But how do you guys store your stickers? Um, do you put them on binder rings like this or do you store them like standing up and like kind of like a file system? Um, and you got, do you guys put like elements like this together with them? Um, because I mean, I have, this is just like one theme right here. This is like beach theme. So like I have like a big sticker sheet, sticker book in here. Um, and it's nice cause like if I want to do a, a layout like this, I will be actually having a layout done this month with using some of this stuff. Um, it's easier for me, but sometimes they get a little damaged. So I'm just trying to look at different ways. I might not change it, but I'd like to know what your what you guys do. So let me know down below what you do. Um, and that's it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great weekend, get some scrapbooking done. Um, and I will see you guys in my next Friday focus. Bye.